let's go. Yes. <laughs> G'day and welcome to fishing. It's Michael Guest here to do one of my favourite things and let's chase a few barra inside a fantastic looking impoundment which is right here behind me. So what we're going to do is cast some, uh, some soft bait, some soft plastics. We've even got some vibes there. Uh, barra love that vibration, that paddle tail. I've got a fantastic lateral line, uh, that big eye and they are such an avid hunter. So it's about really replicating the type of bait fish that are swimming around in an impoundment. Most times they're feeding on bait. So you've got to try and uh, replicate that and get the bite. That's what it's all about. Firstly, straight behind me here, perfect spot to be having a fish. So we've got these sticks in the water there. Um, the barrels sit up quite high in those sticks at times, so you need to get your lure right in that spot. And then just in front of it, a great big timber snag. So barra are no different to any other fish. They love structure of some type. So whether that be a weed bed, a rock bar, um, some sort of boulders in, in and around that are sunk that you can't see, but certainly timber snags and sticks like that are just the perfect ambush point for a barramundi. When it comes to the type of tackle when you're fishing for barramundi, I love casting these low profile reels, um, super smooth drags, uh, we've got that brake system there, you also use your thumb when you cast, so make sure we do a bit of, a, bit of practice in the backyard with a casting plug before you get out and start firing into the timber snags and losing all of your lures. Some 30 pound braid there, some 50 pound fluorocarbon leader and I've joined that with what we call an FG knot. So a bit of research there how to tie an FG knot. You can get away with some other knots but you want super low profile uh, because um, bait casting rods like this have quite small guides so you want it to fly through the guides. This is 6 to 10 kilos so lots of power down the bottom there if when you're really fighting a big barra but still plenty of um, sensitivity in the tip to feel uh, that your lure's swimming correctly, that your vibe's working right. Now that's important. You don't want a rod that's too stiff where you really don't know what's happening with the lure but you still need to have enough power because uh, these, these impoundment barra can grow absolutely huge and you could hook that fish of a lifetime, you need to have the rod that can handle the job. When it comes to lures, there's a whole range that you can use, but I've got to tell you, I really like these um, paddle tail plastics. Uh, they've got a fantastic body roll. They've got that paddle tail that's really vibrating away, which is key to really drawing the, drawing the attention, I should say, of a barramundi. Um, gulp, we all know about gulp, scent and formula. Uh, so that's, that's, uh, that's there, that's dispersing in the water, that's turning that barramundi that's thinking about eating it into one that's gonna commit and bite a little bit longer with that gulp formula. Um, and we've also got uh, lures like this one here, this big paddle tail, which is, just has that holographic look, the big eye that it helps attract the fish. And what I do with those is we'll just add a little bit of scent to really make that work. So the gulp scent is just fantastic. Uh, don't need to put too much on, just a nice smear down the face like that, and a little bit down this other side here. I don't tend to put it on the tail, because uh, I want that fish to commit to this end where the hook is, not just snipping at the tail. So generally up around there, rub that in, that's plenty, and probably every oh, 10 or 15 casts you might want just a bit of a top up uh, out of the tube. So that's there. Also vibes are fantastic as well, so soft vibes uh, are a cool way to catch barra at times, especially in the deeper impoundments where the fish are sitting down a little bit and you want that sort of vertical vibe action. You could either use a vertical one like this or a paddle tail vibe for casting. Uh, they come in a range of colours. Uh, I generally like the more natural colours in the impoundments because we're looking at um, things like bony brim that we're trying to replicate uh, and they, they do the job really well. It's really important once you put a lure on, any lure on, that you have a look and see what sort of speed or technique you need to make it work in the water. Um, these paddle tails are just brilliant, they've got such a good body roll that that tail vibrates away but there's, a, there's probably the ideal speed to make it work so drop it in the water, have a bit of a look and work out yeah, that's a really good speed there. I can see that lure just doing everything I need it to do to attract a barra. If I want it too slowly, the tail will stop working if you go too slow. And if you go too fast, um, that might not be the right technique either. It might even blow out and spin over. So just, uh, just make sure you get that technique right. Next thing you can do, look for the structure you want to cast at. Punch a nice cast out. Bang, that's pretty good there. Um, if you've got really good electronics in your boat, you might have marked some on the side scan. Uh, or on the sound of somewhere, you know where they are. Let that lure sink, stay, stay connected to that lure as it sinks. So it's swimming down, um, those paddle tails swim all the way down. I've got it near the bottom now. A couple of different techniques, I can give it a bit of a hop, hop, and that'll lift it up off the bottom and, and sink back down, then back into that roll again. Give it a hop, hop, let it swim back to the bottom, roll, even have a little pause sometimes. And you can even give it a little bit of a quicker wind and work out what, what's activating the barramundi, what's going to make them bite. 
Another technique we can use is just really just a straight roll where we just fire that cast out into the area, let it sink down and then just roll it back through and past either the weed bed, the rock bar, the timber snag to get a bite. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. I looked a barrier here by the, whoa, yeah, by the feel of it. So important to keep your rod tip down nice and low. When that fish jumps, you don't want to pull him up and over. Oh, and there he is, thrashing his head on the surface. Oh, let's keep down nice and low there. Worst thing you can do is lift that rod really high and jump that fish off. So I've been my knees, stay down nice and low. Stay, keep tension on that fish. Hope that jig head's in a nice solid spot there somewhere. Oh, 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 oh there he is. And there's a result of rolling paddle tail soft plastics. Come on, he's behaving himself pretty well, yes. <laughs> All right, up and in the boat we go. He's a good looking fish too. Nice and silver. Let's have a look. Check that out. Beautiful big, what we call a swampy and impoundment barra. I think we're just gonna drift past this tree, <laughs> tree there, but that's a beautiful looking fish. Got a bit of a mark there where the leader's rubbed around him. They're one fish that you can grip, so there's no sharp teeth there, so I've got a really good grip on the side. Um, and typical impoundment fish where that's really chunky, it's probably in that early 80 centimetres, but uh, there's the result. I did change the colour on that uh, paddle tail plastic just because I wasn't getting a bite, and that's what you've got to do. Just change it up a little bit, look for those little bite windows. Also look at your tide changes. Uh, when you get a tide change out in the sea, I know you don't think it uh, has any correlation with impoundments, but makes a difference because it's all about gravitational pull. 10 o'clock high, out in the ocean you'll find you might get a 10 o'clock bite window in the impoundments as well. There you go, that's a beautiful barramundi. One great thing about a barra impoundment like this one is there's no crocodiles, so if you're fishing in the salt water, certainly don't hang your hand in the water with a barramundi like this one. But this one I've been able to give it a quick swim. Got a couple of cool photos and watch it swim away. All right, bud, off you go. Go on. <laughs> oh.